Hello everybody and welcome to Stampin' Saturday. I thought I would get some stamping done before my 12 days of Christmas coming up. Now, whoops, I have that upside down. I do have this stamp to make presents, so I thought it'd be cute if I just stamped out a bunch of different colored presents to put on my scrapbook layouts. So what I am doing is prepping for my 12 days of Christmas. So this is some scrap and oh, it's two different sides. So let's see, which side do I want it to be on? Uh, probably the darker. And I'm going to put this foam piece down. And I am going to stamp out some red. The only red I have is candy apple. So I already um, stamped one ahead of time. So I want to get that really inked up. I do have a baby wipe to clean up my mounting block just so it don't get on. And I'm just going to stamp them. And it's kind of light colored. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, I'm going to stamp, oh, maybe four of them, maybe on the red. I like the contrast that it gives. And then we're going to move on to some white daisy cardstock. It's fun to get stuff ready. Okay, so I gotta let that dry. Okay, so that. When that dries, we will stamp around it and I don't know if I should do black or but I want to do some I need to get another block um, this I have a friend that lives in the same town I'm in and um, she gave me a bunch of her mom's old stamping block so here's one i have the bow on and then the strip and then i have this one and then i have this one so i have lots of stamping blocks but i do however love that close to my heart this i think I don't know if they always put the close to my heart. If anybody knows, let me know. But I'm not for sure which. These are probably generic. I'm not for sure what brand they are. But I'm happy to have them. Okay, let's get some white cardstock. And because it's greener than the julep, I am using clover. So we are going to stamp some um, green presents. And all right. Okay, that looks good. I do have my chamois with me. I wet it down just to kind of keep that clean. All right, let's move this around. I kind of want to do that star one in green. And see what kind of presents I can make there. Let's go from the right 
to the left. Okay, oh, I got the shakes this morning. All right. This one is like really hard to keep clean. I have to keep getting up and, you know, taking a toothbrush to it. All right. What other presents? Um, we need some lines in the green and the bows. So let's do that next. That way I fussy cut them out. There we go. And this will go I will go back and I will fill these in with my water pen. All right. That's probably not enough. So let's do a few more. I'm getting that ink everywhere on my white table. <laughs> All right. Let's do a few more on here. Make six of these. Alrighty. All right. Now I have that. Okay, let's get another. Or well, do I have room to do the bow? See, the bow will go like that. All right, let's do a couple green bows. All right, that stamp pretty good. That looks kind of pretty, don't it? Okay, so I need one more sheet. We're going to stamp some more green bows. All right. Now, I think I need a couple red. Um, couple red and, well, let's see, yes. I, let's see, where's, there it is. I can't find my stuff. All right these and I will fill them in all right now let's do a couple red bows All right, now what? Okay, so I am going to need um, this black outline. Got to figure out which way it goes. So, Sorry if I'm reaching in front of you. Okay. All right. Oops, where's... All right. Put that on there. Maybe I like the red better. I don't know. I guess we will see. I'll do two black outlines. And then I'll do the others in red. 
I'll try a green one. We're just playing. Um, let's do... I don't want too bad. All right. So do you, I kind of off stamp that, but it's all right. Now let's try it in green and red. Do the green first. Guess I could cut some of this out. But I wanted you to see I kind of like the green on um, green yeah and not the black all right extra enamel dots whoops listening to Becky do her um tw or her Christmas tw or the daily Christmas December daily okay there we go now I'm going to there's my lid or my bottom let's do some red outline All right, put this on there. Yep, I'm liking the same color. Got something on there. All right, put that off to dry. Now let's, okay, we got the red. What about, oh, I'm getting ink all over me. <laughs> all right, what about this little bow here needs to be stamped in green. And then like off camera, I will um, color them in. I will show you on camera. All right. Let's see. I think I am going to need this one's kind of broken up and it goes across the middle but I am going to stamp them out in green who's all doing a December daily I I've never done it because we don't really do anything each day in December so I don't normally do a six by eight album. So I am doing just 12 by 12 layouts. Okay. Let's, let, let's see, how many do I have? I have um, the green presents, which I will put a green fill in these and color the green um, and I may do them in a darker or lighter color green let's see I have my julep and then here's my Let's do a couple online and let's fill them in. Oh yeah, I like the lighter. I 
hopefully you can see. All right, so I am going to go offline, color some of these in, and then I will come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, I am almost done with the red, filling it in. And I just dab my paintbrush on the ink pad. And it seems to be working pretty good. Okay, there's that. And then there's the green I did color one in just to see what it looks like. So I will go and cut these out and then we will glue them together together. Okay, I have everything fussy cut. So let's get these together and start gluing them. And in the magazine that you get from Close to My Heart, here it is, and it shows you what could go together, what looks good. Um, so yeah, it's in the um, Christmas book. Um, I do sell Close to My Heart. It's really gotten me to uh, stamp more. Um, I'm learning. And yeah, it's going really good. Now these are going to um, be a little bit over, so I'm just going to trim them. There we go. And let's see, for the middle, for this one, I'm just going to put, let's put a little dot there. Oh, that's so cute. Look at that. Okay, let's do another one on camera. This one, I'm going to put a green one and a green bow. I like the, the red and the... Maybe a red bow? Or do I want... Let me see. Do I want a green package? Yeah. Okay, we're going to put a little dot there. Oh, the kids are so adorable. I love them, and I can't wait to use them on my pages. Okay, let's do this green one with some red, a red ribbon and a red bow. I will do this one on camera and then, or maybe do a couple. And that way you can see. And they're just simply just gluing them. This is the one with the black, which it don't look too bad. Okay, let's do another red one. And I'm going to put the middle. Or, well, I already did one of them. Let's do... Do we want red? No, I don't like the red. Let's just do one with a green ribbon. And a green bow on this one. Whoops. I love these. These are so cute. Okay, I am going to finish doing these. And then I will be back. 
Okay, I just have a couple more to glue on here. And then I will show you. Okay, and this one I need to trim over here and here. And then put a little bit of glue in the middle. All right, so here are these, and as you can see, there's um, the red outline and the black outline, and then here are a couple of these. Hope you can see okay. So they're different, different packages. And I may go ahead and do some pink for the girls, but I have some photos of Lane and Lily in red and green. <coughs> Excuse me. So I want to use these on some of their Christmas pages. Cutesy. I really love this stamp. So I will have my link below if you want to go check out the stamp while it's still in the shop. So, everybody have a wonderful Saturday. Bye-bye.